Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I hope everyone is well. Um, today is March 7th. I have a few minutes that, about 20, <laughs> about 20, I hope this isn't, goes that long, um, to, um, I have a meeting, but other than that, um, I'm on today to show you guys the art journaling, my art journal that I've been doing. Happy mail, and um, I want to wish Miss Tina from Tina's Messy Crafty Life a happy birthday, guys. You know, you guys, if you guys follow Tina, you know that um, things are hard right now. Let's do her. Let's give her a bright in her day. Let's go and go into her maybe her um, Tina Messy Crafty Life. Facebook page, wish her a happy birthday. Go into one of her other videos, wish her a happy birthday. Maybe it will give her some kind of brightness on today. Try to make her feel good. So Tina, I'm wishing you a happy birthday on this video. And I will be doing the exact same thing on the I probably I will I N Instagram her or message her from and Facebook. And I will be putting it on her in her group um, just to try to brighten her day a little bit all right so let's get started with happy mail I had gotten happy mail the other day and it is from P from whimsical endeavor and I wanted to show you um, I hadn't gotten happy mail I mean a couple weeks maybe since all this stuff started going through with the house and us getting kicked out so, I wanted to show you, she got, she made us a card. And I'm going to throw that out there, so, because her address is on the other side. So, look at the card, and look how cute it is. Alright, look at her. Look how cute it is. She, she has embossed, and I think it's sickled all of the hearts in the background. Look how glittery. She has stamped and colored this little gnome. How cute it is. Alright. Oh, let's open it. Okay. And then on the inside. There you go. It says Sabrina, Jamie, and Zach. As you unpack your things and settle right in. May happiness follow and good times begin. Congratulations. No place like Gnome. So happy for you all. Mike, P, and their her little baby critters so look thank you P thank you very much for this I appreciate it um, uh, very much so um, I do want to let you guys know that after April I will no longer have my PO box um, so if you guys need my address you will actually have to um, email me my address um, because do you know how much a six months worth of a P.O. box is? It's like here and I don't know where your guys is but for a six month for us it's $105. Um, no, I can't afford that after we get our house. Because I want to use it for crafty supplies. Come on guys. No, I don't think about it. But um, like things will get forwarded, like we're going to forward the address and everything. So I just wanted to let you guys know after, um, I would say the middle of April, um, I think that, that it forwards for a whole month. Um, but like our PO box, April 1st is the first day I think it's due. So, all right, got that all done. All right. So here is my art journal. And yes, it is just a little traveler's notebook. Like um, I said before, it doesn't have to be like a real big journal. Especially this is my first time doing any kind of art journaling. Um, I don't do journals at all. I can make the journals, but to sit and write in a journal is hard for me because of the dyslexia that I've had my whole life. And I have dealt with it. Um... 
I just don't like how my wording is. And sometimes I think that's another reason why on the lives that I don't engage with people is sometimes an autocorrect pisses me off, but is another thing. It's, it's hard for me to text what I really think and I'm doing or I say it wrong or something and I, yeah. But just to let you know that. Normally, I'm in there. You guys just don't know. I'm in the balconies. Alright, so my art journaling was started in February. Um, eight days, seven or eight days before we closed on the house. I hadn't did any kind of crafting until, like, like I would do... Um, Elle's Challenge and Tina and Teresa's Background Mixed Media. Um, but, like, I had their stuff already done. And then, like, there was two weeks that, with everything going on with Tina and Teresa, that I didn't realize they put the prompts in their group. What silly me? Because I, I never look Facebook. That's kind of dumb of me. But then I did do them, and I have not showed them. Um, and I will probably show them on this video if this ain't too long. But how I did my this art journaling for me is I would do the background and then I would go and my sticker books that I had bought in that had the weird ass stickers in it. Um, and I'd just pick one or a couple after that and then I just did it. Background was already done. Then after I put the sticker on, if I think it needs more, then I would do more. So the very first one, it looks like me. The very first one was February 21st, 2023. I did the background. I fussy cutted her out. This was gifted to me, but I did water pencil paint her, watercolor her with my water pencils. Okay. The second one, again, kind of looks like me on my colors. My my colors are purple, blue, and pink are most of our most of my whole colors. Like this is mostly that's my colors most of the time. Um then on this was early morning on the 22nd this was on the 22nd as well but in the evening um you can tell the difference something happened in the middle of the day don't i just there's a lot of things i can't remember right now because the days are they feel like they're mixed up and dreaded all together did the background went through and i seen him um if you did notice I did cut around it and that's because I didn't like my border so I made it mine it's my book do what I want the 23rd the 23rd um, you guys know I'm not a big yellow fan and here lately guess what I think a lot of the stuff I use is yellow I'm doing pretty damn good with the yellow so I did all the backgrounds are with the minimal stuff that I had not packed again today is the seventh i have packed all my craft stuff even my alcohol markers i craft i packed it all last night well early this morning it was after i went to bed but i did this i seen this like i think it's along the bridge i think um thought it was more of a family thing so i put family on friday this happened this is not me um it does symbolize somebody and how the day went okay then this was the 26th I was in my head everything was going everywhere I didn't know which way to go and I felt like my eyes were closed that's where this page went so this actually became an emotional journal and I didn't realize that until after I talked to a couple of my friends and I just picture you know took pictures and, and shot them and like you guys don't want to and she's like that's an emotional journal i don't know and honestly after she said it it kind of is like how i felt that day this i was all over the place this was the day before we signed um yeah i think kind of it's self-explanatory like where the penguins like wait where which way are we going what are we doing we're taking a gamble um, the word cow, don't ask me. I don't know. 
I had wow and pow, and then at the end of it, I put cow. I don't know why. I just thought it needed to be there. This happened on March 3rd, the Friday after we got their house. So this was let love increase my um, knight in shining armor on a butterfly dancing like that we did got the house that's where i'm going there i yeah i did the backgrounds first guys remember and then it goes from there the following day the day will come when you'll be sorry has nothing to do with me again it was a really aggravating day now this was yesterday uh, with love you are wonderful you are beautiful it's girls sit, dancing and with her kitty I don't know it has I can't and then this was this morning and I didn't realize it you know be yes for bird but then when I I realized what day it was when I put on it. Maybe that's where the bee went for her birthday. Um, for like Tina's birthday. I don't know. The bees got put in there after everything. Like the bees were the, one of the things. Like this was the first thing. And then these two after I did the background. And then went the butterflies and then the bees. The letter bees. So that is what I have. I probably will not do any more. I, unless I pull everything back out of my box until after I get in the house, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is... I never thought I would do one or that I would have the time. But just to sit down and not knowing what to craft and then just go. So very, very happy about how this is turning out. Um, the other things real quick, I'm going to show you real quick. This is where I've been putting my stuff from Tina and them. And you guys know most of these. So I'm going to take it to the ones that you guys have done. Like these are my backgrounds that I've been doing with the mixed media. With Tina and them. Tina and Teresa. And I believe I showed you this one. So these are the ones. These are my old ones. These are ones like a year ago compared to now it's really different um but yeah these are the ones that i have been doing for their the february ones that i don't think i did a video for but this was the very last one i did with them so yeah so i am keeping them in this and then this is ones i did way i mean 2020 is this one what's what like what did I do May 5th 2020 so I have stuff from three years ago on me doing mixed media so to see the difference and if you guys want to see more let me know guys again uh, I have 13 minutes in I want to wish each and every one of you a great week Tina happy birthday guys go and message her or facebook her a happy birthday guys and i keep please stay safe have a great week and i'll see you when i see you and please keep crafting and bye for now